Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense, back with another fragrance review. And today I'm taking a look at a fragrance that's been requested, honestly, for years at this point. It's this one, our Moth Club de Nuit Intense Man. So yeah, I missed the hype train on this one, obviously, <laughs> because when this was first released, it was really quickly hyped as the best Aventus clone on the market. I haven't really covered clones as much lately. They just don't interest me quite as much as they used to. I actually bought this years ago with the intent of doing a review and just never got around to it. But today I'll be rectifying that and getting this one finally done. I'll let you guys know what I think about this fragrance. We'll check out the presentation like always. I'll let you know how I viewed this one when I first got it versus how I view it now and just kind of break it down for you. So let's go ahead and get on with this and check out the most popular Aventus clone of all time to this point, Club Dinui Intense Man. Like always, we'll start with the presentation. Here we've got the box for Club de Nuit Intense Man. It does have this little fake diamond on the front. You'll notice on the front here that it has an awkward size, 105 milliliters. You've got the Armoff logo there on the top of the box. There's nothing on the sides, and on the back you have ingredient information down here. And on the bottom is where you'll find the badge code, which is over here. For those of you that are interested, this bottle is from December of 2015. And here we have the bottle. Now, I've got to tell you guys, I don't really like this bottle. I think it looks pretty cheesy, but I know there are people out there that do like this bottle and this presentation. It has the same faux diamonds or crystals, whatever you want to call it, here on the front and then on the cap. Also has this little chain, which sometimes gets broken off. Name of the fragrance down here. Then on the bottom, you've got your sticker. There's nothing on the sides or the back of this one. The cap does click into place. It's a fairly heavy cap, and this one is one with the silver atomizer because it's an older bottle. The atomizer color has changed over the years from silver to black. And I'll waste a spray for you guys as well. The atomizer is okay, it's not great. It's basically like all other Armoff atomizers. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, to me, this is hands down the most popular Aventus clone that's ever been made. There are lots and lots and lots of Aventus clones out there, from the higher end, more expensive ones like your Pineapple Vintage releases, to your cheaper ones like Insurrection Pure 2 or Fashion District. But the Aventus clone that's been talked about the most since it was released is this one. You'll see it talked about on forums, on Facebook groups, on YouTube, just about everywhere. And there's a reason for that, as CD and I am, which a lot of people will call this in the fragrance community, is a performance monster. It's very versatile, and it's a compliment getter. And it also doesn't hurt that it's cheap. It's about 30 bucks online most places. There's one thing I wanna to touch on about this fragrance before I jump into how it actually smells, and that's batch inconsistencies. Do I personally think that there's really a problem with batch inconsistencies with Club Dinui Intense Man? No, I don't. But it's still something that's worth touching on anyway. Most people at this point are really well aware of Creed Aventus and the batch inconsistencies or variations within that fragrance. So from month to month to month, the way that Aventus smells can actually change a little bit. Sometimes you'll get a batch of Aventus that's heavier on the fruity notes like bergamot and pineapple. Sometimes you'll get a batch that's heavier on birch or vanilla. So that's really well documented with Aventus. Uh, some people just say, hey man, Aventus is Aventus. It doesn't matter if there's a tiny change. It's still Aventus. You still know what it is. You still know that smell. And then you have people on the other side of the aisle who say, no, no, no. Some Aventus is way better than others. Some Aventus is trash and lasts two hours. Another Aventus lasts 12 hours. Talking about different batches of Aventus there. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about Club de Nuit Intense Man. That being said though, there are some things that are worth discussing in terms of CD and IM. The first of those is the made in France versus the made in UAE difference. If you buy this fragrance online today, you are 99% most likely going to get a bottle that was made in France. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's right there. Now from everything that I've read online, the UAE version has a harsher opening and is a little bit smokier than the Made in France version. But outside of that, everything I've read says they're basically the same. You'll sometimes find the odd comment online that says the UAE version is way more powerful than the Made in France version, that it lasts longer, projects better, all that stuff. 
But at the same time, you can find comments that say the opposite of that. You can find comments that say, no, 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 the Made in France version is much more powerful, has much more projection than the Made in UAE version. So to me, from everything I've read, it seems like they're the same. Maybe a small difference in the opening, but not enough to get worked up about. Then there's also the talk of Club de Nuit Intense Man reformulation. And that reformulation talk really kicked up when they changed the color of the sprayer. When they changed that color of the sprayer, talk online just exploded with all kinds of people saying, oh, it's been reformulated now, it's a shell of what it once was. Here's the deal with that though. For every single comment that you'll find from somebody saying, hey, the new black atomizer version of Club Denui Intense Man is super weak, you'll find dozens of comments from people talking about the exact same batches of the exact same fragrance with that black sprayer saying this is great, this is a compliment magnet, this projects, this lasts, etc., etc." So after all the reading I've done, what that looks like to me is either someone that's gotten unlucky and somehow gotten a bottle that's gone bad, or somebody that's just psyching themselves out and they're thinking, oh, this isn't projecting like it should, this isn't performing, I don't know if I'm smelling this very well, I don't know if it's still here, when in reality, the fragrance is still there and it's still performing just fine. Ultimately, all of that is said just to tell you that I don't think it's worth collecting different batches of Club de Nuit Intense Man. I think that's probably taking paranoia a little bit too far as far as the reformulation talk goes. If you want CDNIM, just purchase it. Don't worry about reformulations or different batches on this particular clone of Aventus. The overwhelming majority of people that own this fragrance, and I'm talking about from bottles years back like this one to bottles being made right now, say pretty much the exact same things in terms of the performance, how it works, all that stuff. Freaking out over Club de Nuit Intense Man batches should not be a thing. Don't make it a thing. Let's finally talk about this fragrance and how it smells. We gotta tell you guys, when I first got this one in, I was disappointed because it was getting hyped up heavily. And I mean, it still does get hyped up heavily. And when I first sprayed it on, I hated the opening. I did not like it. It's lemon heavy. It comes across a little bit chemically and harsh. And I originally compared it to the smell of like a dirty lemon pledge. Now upon revisiting this one, I don't think the opening is quite as bad as I remember it. I will say though that it's still not that good, but everybody knows that Club de Nuit Intense Man isn't about the opening anyway, it's about the dry down, which I'll get to in just one second. The opening of Club de Nuit Intense Man does not come across at all like pineapple, which is the big thing that really makes Aventus, you know, that pineapple opening. It's what a lot of people talk about. It's the favorite part of Aventus for a lot of people out there. This one opens up more with a good dose of tart black currant and then the lemon that I talked about before. So that lemon does add a little bit of sweetness and the black currant comes across a little bit sour. It's got a bit of a tang to it. And at times in the opening, Club de Nuit Intense Man can actually come across like a lemon leather note, which is actually kind of interesting. And one thing that I wanna bring up here and I wanna make pretty clear is that Club de Nuit Intense Man is one of those fragrances that smells much much better in the air around you than it does directly off your skin. So this is going to be one of those fragrances that if you're moving around or people are moving around you and they catch a whiff of the fragrance, it's gonna smell five times better. If you put your nose directly up to where the fragrance was sprayed, like on your wrist, your hand, your arm, your neck, whatever, if you're doing it or somebody else is doing it, doesn't smell as good right up close. And I think that's one of the reasons that Club de Nuit Intense Man is so successful, because it gets you noticed while you're moving around, the fragrance in the air. People will smell that and it smells great and that's what will pull you compliments. If people are right on top of you and it's coming across really strong, it's projecting very strongly, it just doesn't smell as nice. It smells less refined, which you would expect because this is ultimately a cheaper fragrance. Not that it necessarily smells bad directly off your skin, it just again smells so much better in the air. Club de Nuit Intense Man dries down to a woody birch note, which is what gives it its smoky feel. There's also musk, ambergris, and a touch of vanilla in the base as well. And once you hit that dry down, Club de Nuit Intense Man does come across like a smokier batch of Aventus off my skin. And in my opinion, that's where this one is at its best. There are technically fragrances out there at this point that will get you closer to smelling like true actual Aventus than Club de Nuit Intense Man. So I've gotta say, if you want to get as close to real true Aventus as possible, you could always just buy Aventus. At this point, you do have the option of something like Pineapple Vintage by Parfums Vintage, and I think they have 12 or 
13 versions of that at this point. I'm not sure of the exact amount, but it's up there. But Pineapple Vintage is also going to run you much, much more than Club Dinui Intense Man will. So if you're trying to save money or you don't have a lot of money to spend, but you want something that's going to be versatile and compliment getting and give you the vibe of Ventus, then this is going to be one of your best options out there. I will say that on a one versus one, Laventure by Alharamain might be a little bit closer to actual Aventus than Club Denui Intense Man is. Laventure used to be more expensive than CDNIM. Uh, this one was a little bit cheaper than Laventure originally, but Laventure has come down in price over the years, and now they're pretty close. I think Laventure may be a few bucks more than this one at this point, but it's not a big difference. And one thing a lot of people will do with Club Denui Intense Man is they'll actually layer this with Demeter Pineapple. So Demeter, if you haven't heard of them, is a fragrance house that makes fragrances based off a single note or a single thing. So for example, they have dirt, and they have snow, they have grass, and they have pineapple. I mean, they have just a ton of releases. You can look them up if you're interested. But what people will do is they'll buy pineapple and they'll layer it with this. So they'll do one of two things. They'll either take this and Demeter Pineapple, spray them both into a decant bottle, shake it up, let it sit for a while, and then use that as a fragrance. Or they'll just layer them the more traditional way by spraying on some Club Denui Intense Man and spraying some Demeter Pineapple over top. Basically what that does is it takes off some of the edge from the opening, some of that harshness, and gives this more of an actual pineapple feel, which is what it's missing, at least if you want to compare it one-to-one -one with Aventus. So if you like Club Denui Intense Man overall, especially the dry down, but you don't dig the opening as much, that's something you could try out. Demeter Pineapple's not too expensive. I think it's about $20 for a four ounce bottle. So that's always an option. So here's the deal with Club de Nuit Intense Man. Overall, it does not come across like a really natural fragrance, which you would expect, again, because it's a cheap Armoff clone, ultimately, at the end of the day. And even if we're talking about just straight up Aventus clones, you do have more natural smelling ones out there, again, like Pineapple Vintage. And up close, particularly in the opening, this can come across overly synthetic and harsh, but even with all that said, there's still no denying a number of things about this fragrance. Number one, it's a compliment magnet. It just is. If you hate clones, that may make you angry, but that's just the way it is. You don't have to take my word for it either. You can go onto Reddit, you can go onto fragrance forums, you can go onto Facebook groups, and you will find no shortage of guys out there wanting to tell you about all the compliments they got wearing this fragrance. And you'll have all kinds of guys out there wanting to tell you that Club de Nuit Intense Man actually gets them more compliments than real Aventus. Now just personally, I prefer to wear Aventus. At this point, I don't wear Aventus clones. I just wear actual Aventus when I want to wear it though all year. I haven't worn it once because that was one of my New Year's resolutions. Aventus free 2019, as if anybody cares. Yeah, this is a compliment magnet, and if that's literally the only thing you're after, then that's going to be important to you. Number two, the performance on this is very good. It lasts over eight hours easily and projects solidly for over two hours as well. So if performance is important to you, that's another check. And three, it's quite versatile, just like Aventus. Personally, I would suggest spraying this on maybe 20 minutes before you leave to wherever you're going, just to let that harshness and the opening die down a little bit. Let it soften up and let that mid and dry down start to come out. Again, that's when it smells best. And like I've said previously, four, it's very cheap. It won't break the bank and lots of guys out there will get a ton of use out of this fragrance. When I was younger, especially when I was poor, at one time I was very, very poor, and if I could have gotten a fragrance for $30 that would have lasted, would have gotten me compliments, would have projected, and uh, would have been just really versatile, giving me a kind of similar vibe to a much more expensive fragrance, I would have jumped all over it, no questions asked. Not everybody has the money to spend on Aventus, and yet they still love the DNA of the scent, and this fills that need for a lot of people out there. And now the sun has completely changed positions. It took like 15 seconds for that to happen, it was weird. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my take on Club de Nuit Intense Man. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that one. I know that this review is technically probably three years too late, but better late than never. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. It keeps me going instead of shutting this channel down. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys. Thank you.